crafty friends jen cassell here i'm really excited to share with you the august release for scrap diva design here is the website and all of her info make sure that you're using that hashtag scrap diva designs for some amazing inspiration so let's talk the august release oh my gosh so much fun so i did release a sneak peek of one of my favorite dies this is the gift box die and it is so much fun. So obviously you have the main piece right here. There is a shaker component for it, which makes it super, super simple. And then on the back, you're gonna see all the cover pieces. So once again, you've got another um, shaker compartment right here. And then you also have the awning and two cover pieces um for your box this one i use to create the hole uh where the shakers go and then this one i used for the exterior piece um i did show this on instagram uh this is how i did it and i'm i'm so anxious for halloween right now i'm i'm done with summer crafting i'm on to halloween um this is super super cute i love doing this this is a digital collection from creative fabrica that i used and i will link that in the description box i do have a free one month membership available for all my subscribers that i will show over there and also I did not mention I have an affiliate link for Scrap Diva Designs now. I'd really appreciate it if you use that link. You can still use my coupon code GEN10 for 10% off your purchase, but I do get a small kickback if you use my affiliate link, so I would be really happy if you did. But anyways, this box, super, super cute. So I wanted to show you, I did something a little different on mine. I actually did a workshop this weekend with Ann Pham, uh, the useless crafter, and we did a gable box for the workshop. This one was not a die based, but it is a gable box. Let me grab it for you. Okay. So this is the box that I did with Ann Pham this weekend. I loved the design of this because she did a recessed shaker. I wanted to try this on the die as well. What I liked about this, when you open the box, as you can see on this, it it doesn't matter what you put in there. It's not going to ruin your shaker. And it's not on the outside either. So I made this little recessed box and I did the exact same thing for this one here. So when you open it, it's just a completely blank box on the interior. You wouldn't even know that there was the shaker component right here. So if you wanna see a tutorial on this, let me know. I really, really like this idea and I'm going to be using this in the future. Uh, for all of my shaker boxes. I like how neat and clean it makes everything. And I hate the fact that, you know, if if your adhesive kind of starts to come apart, there's there's no way of coming back from that. Uh, and you, you lose all those little shaker bits. This, with the recessed box, you don't lose the shaker bits. So moving along, next we have the slider set. So this is the original toaster card that I did. And of course it's a little slider component. So I'm really, really excited that she actually has a die set to do this with. And I did make a new slider card. It's so fun guys. So this is the card that I did. This is one of the golf carts that I did. I think it was two months ago towards the beginning of summer. I have a few of these and this is a scrap diva die as well. So I did these adorable little golf carts and I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to use them because they're so stinking cute. So I decided to make a card out of them. So in this card, you're also going to find a few of the other uh, dies that were released that were released this month. So all you have to do is pull this to the side and there's a fun little message on the inside. I love, 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 love how this turned out. 
So I will be doing another tutorial based on this slider set. So this is a really, really fun component for this. Now, also what you'll see on here is uh, the flowers. This is the Chevy Chic flower die and you get four different of each size. So you have four large, four medium, four small, and then you have five of the flower centers. So let's take a closer look on this card here. And oh my goodness. So I decided to use a little bit of, of thread on the cards because these holes cut out perfectly. And I thought it was just begging for some stitching. But I wanted to show you. So this is what it looks like when you cut it out. And then this is one of mine not on the cards. And I did do a couple without the stitching just so you could see what it looked like. And I love it. This is this is a really, really cute die. And of course I had to do it in my absolute favorite color too. Very, very cute. So that's definitely a die. And here's a little bigger one too. This is definitely a die that I'm going to be using like all the time. I love it. So also what you're going to see is this cute um, heart border rectangle. And I use the larger one on this card as you can see, it comes with two different sizes. So you get the um, heart border, and then you also get a layering piece for both the small and the large. And then you also get some shaker plates too. So uh, this could be a lot, a lot of fun. And then I think it was Nifty Crafting Me, uh, Rhoda, that did a really, really cool Halloween um, project with this and used this as our platform. I absolutely love it. I thought it turned out so stinking cute. So moving along, we also have the envelope memory decks or memory decks envelope you get several different components. So here's the memory decks itself. And then here's your add-on piece for the front that's gonna make it pop out. And on the back, you have the pattern paper uh, stitched layer that'll go on the very back of the memory decks. And then you also have these cute clips. So you've got love and then like an oval doily clip here. And then you have the love portion and then your layering piece for the oval on the front. So this is really, really fun. This is probably going to be one of the next ones that you see. And then she also released, this is the romantic vintage tags. So you get three different tags and look at these flowers. Oh my gosh. I love these flowers. Very, very cute. I can't wait to cut these out. And then last but not least, ah, guys, this is so cute. So this is the 3D carousel gift box. There's been a lot of sneak peeks on Instagram using this box and so stinking cute. So here's your base. And then um, these back here are going to be the sides of the box. And then here is your layering piece here. And then if you flip back over, you have um, this triangular shape piece with a couple different layering pieces here. And that is going to be for the top like cone portion of your carousel. And then here's a layering piece for the roof, as well as a layering piece for your sides. And then here, this is going to be a little flag. How cute. I can't wait to try this. This is going to be a really, really fun one. So thank you for watching. And once again, head on over to Scrap Diva Designs. Uh, if you use my affiliate link, I'd really appreciate it. And also my coupon code, Gen10, to save 10% off your purchase in the shop. I will see you in the next Crafty video. Bye.